Hey everybody, we are here for another art room organization video and today we're going to discuss tools. Yeah, okay. So let's get to it, shall we? Different tools for a lot of different kinds of art and I store them in a few different places. So let's start over here against the wall with the watercolor tools. All my watercolor tools are in these bins. Now these bins, if I haven't said before, these are actually from the bathroom department at Target. They're wood, they have these little individual, two of these, oops, two of these small boxes in them, and then one large one in the back, all sitting in a tray. Um, these work really well for me. All of my watercolor brushes are over here. So I have my um, Pentel and water type brushes here, my regular brushes for only watercolor here in the back. I have a few random tools like these sander things that I actually use for resin, mostly resin, not only. These are actually like a pedicure, to pedicure tool, but they work great in the art room. I have these things which are look like a pencil, but they're like wax inside and they're for picking up rhinestones. And then I've got my air thing and a few spare oh, stuck in that bin if I pull them out the wrong way. I've got a few spare spreaders like old gift cards and plastic, you know, hard spreaders to use at the art table when the one gets too gunked up and can't be cleaned anymore. I come over here and grab a new one. I have this box back here which has all my different kinds of rulers in it um, for the most part. Uh, whether they're dressmaking rulers or drawing rulers and doodling rulers and also my spirograph which is a kind of a rulery thing they're all right here so I know where those are at these are all of my pokey type tools in this jar right here my acrylic paint tools <laughs> so this bin which sits at the end of my work table which is there on a white wire shelf has all of my paint brushes and acrylic paint tools palette knives makeup sponges that I use for acrylic paint. They're all sorted and in jars or buckets which are in the bin. Can you see down there? Um, by type and that works really well for me. I do have a few um, little baskets hanging off the edge um, which have like my dotting tools and a couple of random sort of things that didn't fit in the bin. That actually works really well for me. I've been using this setup for a while um, on this shelf and it works super super well. Um, underneath that I have um, some bins of homemade stamps and mark making tools which again they're they're real handy it's easier than getting them out of the closet I do use them frequently and this is a really handy way to get them and then I have current pads of paper and journals and things that I'm working on in the bins around that and it's just a handy shelf to have to store things on when I need to get the table clear. The working side of the table um, on the edge of that same wire shelf I have some of these wire bins now these bins are from Daiso and um, they're $1.50 each if you have a Daiso near you. They work really great in this instance. And I have, that one is where the heat gun usually resides. Right now it's plugged in because I was using it. It's plugged in way over there. Um, a bin of gloves because I seem to always need them. Uh, clips to clip things open or clip things while they're drying. Um, that little bin right there has got like random pieces of canvas in it I can paint on. That one usually has a few bottles of craft paint and that one has weights. That works really well for me, that way of organizing things. Does that mean that I never change it, never move things around? Of course not. On the other side, I have um, some, actually these are wire shelves that clip together and I actually have them upside down and zip tied to the edge of this other wire shelf at the other end of the table. And here I store my baby wipes in that box. And I've got some random tools here, including this another one of those bins which has my staplers in it. Um, I have two Lazy Susans here on this end of the table, which have my other daily mixed media tools, including scissors and gel medium and things I use on a daily basis whenever I'm creating art. Um, and they just live right here. And then this one, uh, this is paper, just paper towels. Again, something I use a lot. And then the rest of these shelves are drying racks. Um, I do have one empty bin down there, so when I need to clear off the table and there's some place some place for not some place for things to go that are on the table, they go in that bin and it gets under this table. Less used tools are in this other closet here on the other side of my room. I said in another video that I had two closets in this room. This is the right side closet. 
um, opposite of the paper storage. And these bins have other tools, lesser used tools, but no less important, including punches and acrylic pouring tools, um, my glue guns, um, an ironing ham, those of you who sew know what that is, um, some random uh, beads and bead tools, wire, um, you can see up there my Cricut ironing thing, I can't think of what it's called right now, um, my cutting boards, all of my rubber stamps sorted in bins by type, and so that I can just, if I need, say, uh, stamps from my design collection, I just grab this, the bin that has my name on it. <laughs> um, my zutter and my silhouette. So this system pretty work pretty much works well for up me. And sorted and organized for you because right now the studio is a work in working, and I, I'm working on other videos and there's pieces and parts everywhere. But you know, it is what it is. So I hope it gives you some ideas of what you can do. I'm gonna share links of other people and what they do in the description below. Um, go check them out and show them some love. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Support the free content here on YouTube and over in the Facebook art groups. Or just follow me on social media to check out my daily art practice by checking on the link tree list of links in the description below, along with my happy mail addresses down there too. So check out that description. Leave any questions, comments, or concerns here on the video. I will reply, I promise. And the most important thing is to go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later.